Today we're taking a look at the Brooklyn Nets vs Milwaukee Bucks match, which is happening on Sunday May 2, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general of this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. Brooklyn enters this game with a 43-21 record after losing to Portland at home by 19 points in its last game while Milwaukee enters this game with a 39-24 record after beating Chicago on the road by 10 points in its last game. The Brooklyn Nets enter this game in fantastic form as they have won four of their last five games. However, Brooklyn did lose its last game at home to Portland by 19 points on Friday. In that game, Brooklyn's defense was awful as it allowed 128 points while letting the opposition shoot 51.6% from the floor and 44.4% from the three-point line. Luckily, the Nets are still in possession of the number one overall seed in the Eastern Conference with a small lead over the 76ers. Now, the Brooklyn will be looking to forget about its last game as quickly as possible. Leading the Nets offensively is star forward Kevin Durant who is averaging a team-high 27.6 points per game along with 6.7 rebounds per game. However, he has also only played in 27 games up to this point as he has been plagued by several leg injuries throughout the regular season. Kyrie Irving has been inconsistent recently, connecting on less than 25% of his field goal attempts in two out of his last four clashes. Overall, the 29-year-old point guard is having a productive season, posting 26.9 PPG and 4.9 RPG. Kevin Durant did not play in Friday's bout. The star was being rested to avoid playing on back-to-back -back nights. Durant scored 30 points in the win over the Bucks in January and features an average of 27.6 PPG. Blake Griffin has scored double digits in four out of his last five games. The veteran power forward owns an average of 11 PPG. Brooklyn is scoring an average of 118.8 points on the season, good for second in the NBA. They are allowing an average of 114.3 points, landing them 22nd overall. The Milwaukee Bucks have been playing some mediocre basketball lately as they have split their last eight games. On the bright side, Milwaukee enters this game on a bit of a high note as it was able to defeat Chicago on the road by 10 points in its last game. In that game, Milwaukee's defense was great as it only allowed 98 points while forcing the opposition into shooting just 38.5% from the floor and just 30.8% from the three-point line. Now, Milwaukee gets to return home as it will be hoping for another easy victory. Luckily the Bucks have won 20 of their first 30 games at the Pfizer Forum as they have looked extremely comfortable at home up to this point. Leading the Bucks offensively is star forward Giannis Antetokounmpo who is averaging a team-high 28.0 points per game along with a team-high 11.2 rebounds per game. The Milwaukee Bucks return home after posting a 2-2 record on a four-game road trip. Overall Milwaukee has not been quite as threatening recently, and has gone only 2-5 in their last seven home games. They rebounded from a surprising defeat to the Houston Rockets with a dominating 108-98 home win over the Bulls on Friday night to cover the narrow 1.5 point spread. Giannis Antetokounmpo did not play in Friday's clash after exiting the previous game with an ankle sprain. The 26-year-old star is having another incredible season, registering 28 PPG along with 11.2 RPG and 5.9 APG. He scored 34 points in the loss to Brooklyn early in the season and is probable for this one. Chris Middleton is shooting 42.5% from the field on the month which is lower than his season average of 47.3%. The 29-year-old small forward is having yet another effective season, filing an average of 20.3 PPG and 5.5 APG. Middleton tallied 25 points in the lone meeting against the Nets. Brook Lopez is thriving, sinking 15 or more points in three straight clashes. The veteran center is averaging 12 PPG on the season. Dante DiVincenzo is questionable with a toe injury. Milwaukee continues to dazzle in the offensive end, 
and leads the entire NBA with an average of 119.3 points on the year. The Bucks are allowing an average of 113 points, placing them 20th overall. The Nets continue to play without James Harden who played a big factor in the Nets' narrow 125-123 win over Milwaukee in the lone meeting this season. Harden scored 34 in that one. Brooklyn isn't nearly as dangerous on the road where they are a subpar 5-5 in their last 10 games overall. Furthermore, the Bucks should be able to take advantage of a Nets squad that will give up points. They have surrendered 113 or more points in three out of their last four games and Milwaukee is the highest scoring team in the league. Giannis is expected to play after missing Friday's game with an ankle injury. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Milwaukee Bucks. The Milwaukee Bucks are 39-24 on the season, 3.5 games behind the Nets in the Eastern Conference. They have played their last couple of games without Giannis Antetokounmpo, who tweaked his ankle. Giannis is questionable for Sunday's game but I've got to believe that he will play Sunday if he can. The Bucks are coming off a win without Giannis against Chicago. The Bucks beat the Bulls on Friday 108-98. The Bucks weren't great from the floor at 46% but they didn't have to be as the Bulls shot just 38% in the game. Brooke Lopez and Chris Middleton each had 22 points to lead the Bucks. Drew Holiday added 16 points while Bobby Portis added 16 points and 14 rebounds. Bryn Forbes added 10 points and 13 rebounds. In addition to Giannis, Dante DiVincenzo is also questionable for Sunday. The Brooklyn Nets had their five-game winning streak snapped Friday with a 128-109 loss to the Portland Trail Blazers. Portland shot 50% and held Brooklyn to 42% shooting. There was no Kevin Durant last night, as he took a night off likely for load management. Kyrie Irving led the Nets with 28 points while Jeff Green added 16 points and 6 rebounds. Also, Mike James had 15 off the bench for the Nets while Joe Harris had 12, and Blake Griffin added 11 points and 8 rebounds. The loss dropped the Nets to 43-21. They hold a half a game lead over the Sixers in the Eastern Conference, Kevin Durant should play on Sunday against the Bucks. Bruce Brown is questionable. The Milwaukee Bucks are averaging 119.3 points on 48.6% shooting and allowing 113 points on 45.3% shooting. Giannis Antetokounmpo is averaging 28 points and 11.2 rebounds while Chris Middleton is averaging 20.3 points and 5.5 assists. Drew Holiday is the third double-digit scorer and Brooke Lopez is grabbing 4.9 rebounds. The Milwaukee Bucks are shooting 39.2% from beyond the arc and 76.1% from the free throw line. The Milwaukee Bucks are allowing 37.5% shooting from deep and are grabbing 48.1 rebounds per game. The Brooklyn Nets are averaging 118.8 points on 49.3% shooting, and allowing 114.3 points on 46.2% shooting. Kevin Durant is averaging 27.6 points and 5.3 assists, while Kyrie Irving is averaging 26.9 points and 4.9 rebounds. James Harden is the third double-digit scorer, and Joe Harris is dishing 1.9 assists. The Brooklyn Nets are shooting 38.8% from beyond the arc and 80.9% from the free throw line. The Brooklyn Nets are allowing 36.6% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.3 rebounds per game. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over. Now here are some stats and trends. Nets are 2-8 ATS in their last 10 Sunday games. Bucks are 6-4 ATS in their last 10 games. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.